goal of this video is to demonstrate the functionality of consolidating subsidiary companies into a single consolidated parent company. In Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, a consolidation company is created to report financial results for a group of companies. A consolidation company called Contoso Entertainment Systems, or CEC, has been created for this purpose. The financial data from the subsidiary companies is consolidated into the CEC company, and then a financial report is created by using the combined data. In my demo, CEU, or Contoso Entertainment Systems West, is a wholly owned subsidiary within the Contoso Entertainment Group of Companies. In my demo, CEU and CEC both share the same chart of accounts. However, when the consolidated company and the subsidiary company have different chart of account structures, each account in the subsidiary must be mapped to the consolidated company. In that case, I would go to the main accounts form and in the consolidation account field located here, I enter the main account number from the consolidation company. In the same manner, financial dimensions in the subsidiary can be mapped to the consolidated company. That is done in order to simplify the dimension structure of the consolidation company. I would go to General Ledger, Setup, and then under the Financial Dimensions grouping, click on Financial Dimensions, Financial Dimension Values, and in the Group Dimension field, I would enter the Group Dimension to use in consolidation. Now, in order for a company to be recognized as a consolidation company, a setting must be made on the Legal Entities form for the company. I will switch over to CEC, my consolidation company, and to navigate to the Legal Entities form, I must go to Organization Administration, under Setup, Organization, and open the Legal Entities form. Here the Use for Financial Consolidation process checkbox is marked. You will notice a second field called Use for Financial Elimination Process. Consolidated financial statements must only include transactions that occur between the consolidated entity and other entities outside the consolidated group. So because of this requirement, transactions between a parent company and its subsidiary companies, such as intercompany sales or receivables, must be removed or eliminated. Let's take a quick look at the elimination rules setup. I will navigate back to General Ledger and go to Setup. And then under the Postings group, I will open a Ledger Elimination Rules form. Here you can see we have a rule already set up. The destination company is the company where the Elimination Journal will be created. I've selected the active checkbox to indicate whether the elimination rule is available for processing. And in the journal settings field, there must be a journal name that has the type equal to elimination in order to process successfully. On the lines tab, you enter additional information such as the elimination method, source and destination accounts, and dimension information. There are two elimination methods to choose from. Net change eliminates an account's net change for a specified date range. This is the most common elimination method. And fixed amount eliminates a specified amount for an account. With that method, a manual process determines the fixed amount to eliminate for an account. As you can see here, I have my intercompany sales, expense, and receivable account set up for which I want amounts to be eliminated during the consolidation process. There are two ways to process elimination rules. One way is to do an elimination journal proposal process, which is done under general ledger journals. This method of processing elimination rule may be preferred if you first consolidate data, confirm the data in the consolidation company, and then run a separate elimination journal proposal to create and preview and validate the journal here. An elimination can also be created during the consolidate online process in a consolidation company, which may be preferred if consolidations are simple and the ease of a one-step process is desirable. And this is the method I'm going to show you in a little bit. The next setup I want to show you is the currency setup in the consolidation company. I will scroll down to setup, 
into the currency folder. Currencies is where you set up the default currencies for CEC and basic information about each currency. Exchange rate types is where you specify the different exchange rate types used during the consolidation. For example, average rate type is used for P&L accounts, whereas the closing exchange rate type would be used for the majority of balance sheet account. If I click on the exchange rate button, you can see the exchange rates form. Here, exchange rates can be manually keyed in or imported on a daily basis. The system will use these settings when recording transactions in foreign currencies which are different than the company's accounting currency. In the currency revaluation accounts form, we have default accounts set up for realized and unrealized gain loss accounts. Unrealized gain loss accounts are used when posting transactions in currencies other than the company's accounting or default currency whereas a realized gain and loss account are used by the system when settling transactions, such as payment transactions, and there's a gain or loss to be recognized. Finally, you must set up a consolidation systems account to automatically post differences resulting from using different rate types for different accounts when consolidating subsidiaries into the consolidation company. This setup is located under Posting, Accounts for Automatic Transactions. I have the posting type balance account for consolidation differences. Here I am posting to an equity account in this example as required by FASB 52. Okay, so let's take a look at performing a consolidation. I'm going to scroll up to the periodic processing area, consolidate, and consolidate export to, and consolidate import from, and consolidate online are the three options for consolidations. Consolidate Export 2 is used when the subsidiary company is in a different database than the consolidated company, in which case data is extracted from the subsidiary and exported to a comma delimited file. Consolidate Import From is used to perform the import to bring the subsidiary file data into the consolidated company. So I'm going to show you the steps involved to do a consolidate online process, and that is when the consolidated company and the subsidiary company are in the same database. I'll open the consolidate online form. On the criteria tab, you specify a range of main accounts to consolidate, a period of time to consolidate, and budget models to be used in the consolidation if applicable. Select Use Consolidation Account to use the account mapped in the subsidiary company that I showed you earlier. There are options to consolidate actual or budget amounts or both. And Perform Foreign Currency Revaledation setting is used for the ledger transactions in the subsidiary to adjust during the consolidation using the current exchange rate. On the Financial Dimensions tab, all dimension attributes defined in the system will default as lines in the grid. Under the Specification column, you would specify how the dimension should consolidate from the subsidiary. For example, select dimension to pull the source original dimension from the subsidiary transaction, or as I showed you earlier, the same consolidated company dimension can be assigned to several subsidiary dimensions, and the user would select group dimension in that example. Segment order is given to financial dimensions. This will be the order in which the dimensions appear in the account member control in the consolidation company. On the Legal Entities tab, enter a line for each subsidiary company that indicates the percentage of ownership, which is 100% in my example since CEU is a wholly owned subsidiary, and whether the exchange differences should post to a balance sheet or a profit and loss account. On the Description tab, enter a meaningful description for the consolidation. On the Eliminations tab, you enter the elimination rules you want to process during the consolidation. Each elimination rule is stored based on each company and must be unique. There are some proposal options available. You can run the elimination rule in a proposal mode to perform what-if analysis. That would be considered a two-step process. Or you could do a post only, where journals are created and posted immediately upon the consolidation. 
So once I have run the consolidation, I'm going to leave this in proposal mode. I will navigate to the eliminations journal to show you how the proposal uh, resulted and to show you the lines of the elimination journal. Finally, there is the currency translations tab which uses the exchange rate types defined for the range of accounts indicated. So for example, here I have my balance sheet accounts, which use the closing or current rate, and I have my profit and loss accounts, which use the average rate. Once my setup is complete, I can select batch to run the consolidation as a batch job, or I can click OK to process the consolidation immediately. Now I can review the results of the consolidation by navigating to the inquiries and to consolidations. Here the overview tab provides a list of all the entries created through the consolidation process. And in addition, on the general tab, I see the time the entry was created and the user ID of the person who created the entry. Now, there may be times when it's necessary to remove the consolidation transactions. So, for example, a data entry error may be made when a user sets up the consolidation process. In that case, you could click the Remove Transactions button. Otherwise, uh, under the Transactions button here, we have the options of Actuals or Budget. If I click on Actuals, this will display the consolidation entries that have been created for CEU and for the period that I had selected. A few things should be noted here. During consolidation, each subsidiary company's currency amount is brought over as transaction currency in the consolidation company and is then translated to the consolidation company's currency here in this column. If I scroll to the bottom, go to the bottom, you can see here posting to the cumulative translation adjustment account, equity account, is posted to account for differences in the exchange rates used. And then a final thing to note is that the consolidation process deletes beginning balances in the consolidation company. So as a result of that, you will need to perform a year-end closing in the consolidation company and then run the exchange adjustment process to adjust the beginning balances again for the different exchange rate types used, such as average or closing during the consolidation process. Finally, I want to view the results of my elimination proposal process, and I would do that by going to Journals, opening the Elimination Journals form, and then I can view the lines. So in this case, my intercompany receivables account, which had a natural debit, the result of elimination was to reverse out or to credit. If I was happy with this entry, I could proceed and post. This concludes this video describing the setup and processing of the consolidation using Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. If you are interested in seeing how financial reports would be created by using the consolidations data, please watch the video Generating Financial Statements. Thank you.